Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiator. So this is a super quick appendix to my previous video published today about zero women can sword fight, which is of course BS. I feel I need to make one specific point really, really clear. The majority of people who seem to have had a problem with this video all seem to have missed one vital point. I am not at all saying that on average, bigger, stronger men don't beat, on average, weaker people, be they women or any other people, okay? As I thought I explicitly stated in my previous video, strength and size, which are things which are more to be found in men than in women, are indeed an advantage. However, my main point with Andrew Claven's assertion is that he stated categorically in black and white, I'm not taking anything out of context, I'm not misquoting him, I even showed his video in my video, he said that 100% of women in a sword fight would lose to, to men. Okay. No woman can fight with a sword. Zero women can fight with a sword. And what I mean by that is in a situation where you are fighting men who are used to fighting with swords, you are going to get killed if you were a woman fighting with a sword 100% of the time. Which is factually indefensible. You may feel your masculinity challenged. You might not agree with everything I say. You might think that, indeed, as is true, on average, men have an advantage in fighting in combat than women do. That's all fine. But what he categorically stated was that 100% of women would lose in a sword fight, which is demonstrably incorrect. It's incorrect in modern martial arts. It's incorrect in self-defense, street self-defense. It's, it's incorrect in medieval warfare, in Japanese history, in European history. Um, there are many examples of women who did beat men with weapons in war and in duels, okay? And those were trained men. So hopefully that clears that up. One final little point is about armored combat. A lot of people seem to think that uh, in sword fighting, in medieval sword fighting or in armored combat, um, that being bigger and stronger is, is indeed an advantage, but that it is the deciding factor. Uh, but it's of course not, and if it was, then we would only have the biggest and strongest people winning all the time in armoured fights, in armoured duels that happened in history, that happen even now in a sporting context, or indeed in you know longsword fencing or anything like that. And that again is demonstrably not the case. If you look at the top longsword fencers or the top battle of the nations fighters, whatever, yes, size is an advantage, I'm not denying that and men are on average much bigger and stronger than most women are. Absolutely true, I don't disagree. But it is not always the deciding factor and skill is a massively important factor. And you must, must get out of your head this analogy with weight categories in wrestling or boxing. It's entirely different. It doesn't, I don't care if you've done kickboxing or you've done some wrestling at high school. It is irrelevant when it comes to sharp and pointy objects because it doesn't matter how big you are, you could be Hafthor Bjornsson, I can guarantee you if you stab six inches of this blade into Hafthor Bjornsson, he will die just the same as the smallest, puniest man or woman. It makes no difference, okay? He's still got a body, he's still got internal organs, you still have a nervous system. So bladed combat particularly, and this does go to other forms of armed combat, but bladed combat, and we see this with, if you wanna look up on YouTube knife fights, go and do it. It's not a nice thing to do, and I won't link them here, but go and have a look. When a knife or a sword is involved, it changes everything about size and strength, okay? That's the whole point of weapons. And if you're watching this channel with my thousand plus videos talking about edged weapons and you haven't yet got that, you need to watch some more of my videos. Anyway, cheers for watching. Thanks a lot for all your comments, um, except for the rude ones, shall we say. Uh, but cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon for another video on hopefully a different topic next time. Cheers, folks.